Hello, Heritage of Faith family. Pastor Justin back again, uh, just wanting to give you an encouraging word. Uh, you know, as I, I continue to tell us, t tell us as a church that we're all about making winners in life. And I know outside in, in the world that things that are going on in our world, things are unstable, things are shaking. But I'm telling you, we, we are going to win through this situation. We are going to come out uh, as overcomers because that's who we are. We are children of God. And because we're children of God, we are overcomers. That's what 1 John chapter 5 tells us. It, in, it tells us, whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So I want to encourage you. Let's not our heart be troubled. Let's not our heart be overwhelmed, as Luke says, by looking at those things that are coming on the earth. But remember, but let's set our affection on things that are above. And setting our affection on things that are above is about, affection is about trust. It's about your heart. It's about my attention. It's about everything I am. I'm giving it to him that is above. And so that really, that can be seen in our trust. Now, I want to remind us of a scripture in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on your own understanding. But in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. I want to encourage you, in this season, when things are, seem to be unstable, you and I, we, we need to stay stable. And how do we do that? We trust in the Lord with all our heart. All our heart. I mean, there's not room for anything else. There's not, there's not capacity in my heart for anything else but trusting in Him. Trusting in Him with all my heart and not leaning on our own understanding. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's easy to lean on our own understanding. It's easy to get caught up with everything that's going on, with everything the world is saying, what the media is saying, what we're not allowed to do right now, what we can't accomplish right now. But I'm telling you, we have to keep our trust firmly fixed in the Word of God, firmly fixed in our Savior. You know, trust. You know, throughout the Word, the Bible gives us a lot of different pictures and a lot of different images of what things look like. And in Psalms chapter 125, it gives us an idea of what trust looks like. In Psalms 125, it says, Those who trust in, lean on, and confidently hope in the Lord are like Mount Zion. Man, think about that. It says those that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. You, you, can't, you can't easily move a mountain. You can't move a mountain in the natural, so to speak. But that's what he says trust is like. Trust. Trust is like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. And I want to encourage you that's, what, how you, that's how your trust needs to be. That's how your heart needs to be, immovable in this season, immovable in this time, immovable. No matter what's happening, what's taking place, we have to keep our heart fixed on Him. And how do we keep our heart fixed on Him? By trust. You know, there's another description of trust in what trust looks like. And we see this in Jeremiah chapter, um, I believe it's Jeremiah chapter 17. Jeremiah chapter 17 says, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Whose hope the Lord is. Where's your hope today? Is your hope in the stock market? Is your hope in, in what's happening all around you? No, it says our hope is in the Lord. And it says blessed is that man that trusts in the Lord. I'm telling you, there's a blessing tied to your trust. Verse 8 says, For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters that spreads out its roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh. It doesn't say that heat doesn't come. It says it doesn't pay attention to. It doesn't pay attention to. It doesn't see it. So trust is not only like a mountain, but trust is like a tree that's planted by a river. And it says that we don't see when heat comes. But her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Shall not be careful in the year of drought. It doesn't mean there's not a drought. 
It just says their heart isn't an anxiety in the year of drought. So right now, it might look like things are in drought. Things are messed up. Things are confused. But a person of trust is like a tree that's planted. And he doesn't, he's, he's trusting so much, he doesn't see the heat. He's trusting so much, he doesn't see the drought. But it says in that, it says, neither shall they cease from yielding fruit. So I'm telling you, trust puts us in a position to never stop bearing fruit. So Pastor Annette and I want to encourage you, let your heart be fixed in him. Trust in him. Be like that mountain that can't be moved and be like that tree, trusting in, knowing that as I'm planted here, as that tree, I'm going to bring forth fruit. We love you, we believe in you, and we believe the best is yet to come. God bless. Till next time.